Design engineers can now use the intuitive workflow of ANSYS AIM to prepare and mesh geometry for solving an ANSYS fluent, and more advanced fluid physics can be included in simulation for analysts to validate the results. Let's begin with ANSYS AIM and navigate to the Connect to Fluent box to create the workflow. Now we can complete our geometry and meshing tasks within ANSYS AIM and the remaining physics pre-processing, solution and post-processing with an ANSYS fluent. Next, you can import your CAD file and ANSYS AIM will create the tasks required to perform seamless modeling and meshing. In this example, we'll be importing an existing combustor geometry and modifying it. Once the workflow has been created, you can go to geometry modeling and edit the model using ANSYS space claim technology. For cases when components of the geometry are not required for simulation, you can select any surplus geometry details and remove them from the model or you can suppress them for any downstream tasks, such as meshing or physics setup. You can also modify existing geometry with AIM. In this example, we're removing a sharp edge on part of the geometry and introducing a smooth blend. To ensure a contiguous geometry, we use the Combine tool to merge all of the components into a single body that's ready for meshing. Once we've completed all of our geometry editing, we simply close the geometry window to return to our AIM workflow. Our next task is meshing. AIM meshing is set up with intelligent defaults to enable fast meshing of geometries for CFD, including element inflation at the boundaries. Additionally, a default inflation object is created with default settings. You can select the model surfaces on which you want inflation. You can adjust the overall mesh size using a convenient slider or modify the settings directly to obtain a mesh of the desired resolution. You can also change the global mesh sizing and global sizing functions to refine the mesh in regions of interest. User-defined regions can be created in AIM using selection sets. These are groups of volumes or surfaces which will be transferred to Fluent. They can be used for applying physics, such as boundary conditions. When the meshing task is complete, we transfer the AIM mesh geometry part of the workflow to Fluent. By selecting the Project tab on the main window, you switch to the ANSYS Workbench project page. Then by double-clicking on the Fluent cell of the Fluent schematic, you open Fluent and import the AIM-generated mesh with any predefined selection sets. Next, you can set up your ANSYS Fluent case with the desired options by using the Fluent Launcher. Once ANSYS Fluent is loaded, you can set up the physics for your case and you'll have access to all of Fluent's features. Users can also import accurate chemistry from ANSYS ChemKin Pro. In this example, the physics included are energy, turbulence, species, and non-premixed combustion. Monitors have been set up to track the minimum and maximum temperature in the combustor. Now we're ready to run the simulation. After the simulation is complete, we can begin post-processing and have access to all affluence tools, including temperature and velocity contours. ANSYS in Action, Advancing Simulation-Driven Product Development.